People were weeping and wailing after the sermons of Lady Zainab and Lady Kulsum, when Imam Sajjad ordered him to be silent. After God's praise and sending blessings and peace upon the Prophet and his family, he said, O oh people, whoever knows me, he knows me and whoever does not know me, I introduce myself to him. I am Ali, son of Hussein. The Hussein, who was innocently slaughtered on the banks of the Euphrates Canal. I am his son, who was disgraced, whose property was looted, and whose family was imprisoned. I am the son of the one who was martyred by oppression, and this is enough for our pride. O oh people, I swear to you by God, did you not invite my father in writing? And did you not promise him help? And when he responded to your invitation, you plotted and withdrew your support. Not content with that, you fought with him and killed him. Woe to you for accumulating so much evil for yourself in this world, and evil for your opinion and strategy in the hereafter. How will you look at the Holy Prophet, when he says to you that you have killed my family, and disgraced me so you are not from my Umar? According to the narrators, when the Imam's words of grief reached this point, the cries and shouts of the people, from all sides started rising, and everyone started saying to each other, We are ruined. Imam Sajjad started the speech again and said, May God have mercy on those who accepts my advice and remembers my will about God, his Prophet, and the family of the Prophet, because we have the highest of examples in the life of the Messenger of God. They all said in unison, O oh son of the Prophet, everyone is obedient to you. Whatever you order will be carried out. We are friends of your friends and enemies of your enemies. Imam Sajjad, on hearing his deception, said, O oh group of deceivers, now this wish of yours cannot be fulfilled. Now you want to treat me the same way you treated my ancestors. That can't happen now. God, even the previous wounds have not healed. Yesterday, my father was martyred along with his family. So far, I have not forgotten the shock of the martyrdom of my forefathers and brothers. Rather, the bitterness of grief and sorrow of these sufferings is still present in my throat, and the sips of grief and anger are still circulating in the bones of my chest. Yes, all you want is to neither benefit nor harm us.